if you would, each of you, uh, tell us your thoughts about the very impressive win today. Yeah, I mean, today was a really tough match. Um, going into it, we knew that it was going to be very tricky. You know, Su Wei brings a different type of game style than anyone we've ever seen before. So you kind of just have to stay on your toes and be ready for pretty much anything, um, which I think we did a great job of. You know, I got broken a couple times in that second set, but I think we were able to regroup very well and just, you know, keep attacking on the returns and give us uh, great opportunities to break them again. And we played a great tiebreaker in the second set, a bunch of really good points, and I think that's what helped us a lot. Go, go. Uh, yeah, basically what she said, um, I think that, Today, we just competed really well for every point. And going into the match, we knew that it was, they were going to be a tough team to beat. They're not the number one seeds for no reason. And I'm glad that uh, we bought our A game today. Very good. Gentlemen, you want to fight it out to see who goes first? Okay. All right, then you go. Uh, what is your sort of comfort level together as a team? I mean, you mentioned playing together for the first time at juniors here years back, and now you're kind of one of the more established, long-run teams on tour. Just what is your sort of chemistry like at this point and how does that sort of help that even if you haven't played as many matches as those sort of veteran players that they've so many of them been together yeah I mean I think the first time that we played here in juniors a couple years ago like from the start I think everyone knew there was something special I think we knew there was something special just with the way like we got along kind of just clicked and everything gelled so easily like our games and I think over time we've just been able to really improve like the little things that you know, maybe we lost some matches, some really close matches due to, but um, we always pick each other up. You know, today there's a couple of times where I got down, and Coco was able to really pick me up. You know, tell me to, to bounce on my feet, just get ready, and uh, I think that was really helpful. And um, I'll do the same to her, just just to get us going. Oh. Do you want me to answer too? If you have something to add, if you want, <laughs> um, you don't have to. I mean, I don't really have anything to add. I think for the main thing that makes us hard to beat is just our chemistry with each other. If one of us is off, um, the other one is always there to cover. Good. One more. Just it's been a big tournament for teenagers on the men's and women's side. Alcaraz making the men's quarters, and then the women's team two 18-year-old semifinalists in the singles, uh, and Raducanu and. Fernandez, I'm just curious, both of you are obviously have, have had good results in doubles and singles already. What do you make of, it feels like sort of a, a shift, this tournament, and, and the results. What do you make of, of those um, results? Yeah, I definitely think there's definitely a shift. And I I think for me, I, I was always knew that it was going to come. And I'm glad that I'm so happy for Layla and Emma. I've known both of them for a long time. They're um, both super nice girls, and I'm always cheering for them. Um, well, last night, her yeah, yesterday during Layla's match, I was supposed to leave, I think, from the beginning of the third to go, like, out in the city. And I, like, waited till my mom I couldn't leave yet. I had to wait till that third set finished. And it ended up being long, but it was worth the wait. And I'm glad that Layla came out. And I'm I'm rooting for both of them. And I hope that we get a teenager final. Um, but it's definitely inspiring. And it inspires me to do better, do better and work harder. Same for you, Katie. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I think that it should just give everyone – the the opportunity I mean just the inspiration to just go out there and say why not me I mean that's pretty much what they're doing every match they're going out there playing so fearless and just saying like why not me why not me going to the quarters or the semis or the finals or even winning it and they're playing very you know boldly very very fiercely and um you know obviously we're not still in the singles but you know I think we can do the same thing in doubles just keep going and every match take it one point at a time and just prove that age is just a number we can do the same thing Thank you. Yeah. Coco, Emma has been in here and said everyone is on their own trajectory as a player, but you were the first of your age group to kind of make a big run in, in a grand slam. You know, Now that you see girls you played against, I know you played against Layla and the juniors making this kind of run, how do you process that? I mean, is it inspirational to you, or you know, do you measure yourself by them? Um, no, I definitely don't measure myself by them. I just never do that with anyone because we're all different and we're all going to – have our time to shine at some point. Um, but it definitely is inspiring because it, you know, we all been in close and level for the long time. And it shows that um, I think that, that we both, that I feel like for me personally, I feel like I can make it to semis finals because they're doing it. I don't know if they saw that when I did it, but I definitely feel it with them and it definitely inspires me definitely today in practice. Um, we we're practicing the same time as Layla. And I don't know, I just felt like, I need to work harder to get like where she is, and um, 
I don't know. I'm just super inspired by both of them. And I, like I said, I, I'm always going to root for my age group just because we're all kind of friends and we all are rooting for each other. So it definitely inspires me. Paul, go ahead. Yeah, just, I mean, you, you've played most of the top players in, in singles and, and they haven't uh, until, until this tournament. Sort of how do you rate, you know, their chances to, to, to win this tournament? I mean, for me, I think they, they're in the semifinals. They obviously have a shot to win it. And I think, um, like I said, I'm rooting for them. I mean, there's no way I can tell the future, but I do believe that if they keep playing how they're playing, that they're going to win it and hopefully have a teenager champion in singles and doubles with us. Um, and I guess that just to show the world, world that, you know, this new generation, Gen Z, we're coming and we're coming strong. Okay. Bill, did you have a question? Can you put in, into words uh, what you think you're – your generation is, is going to bring to our sport, uh, what qualities? I mean, I think, yeah, like I've been watching all of, you know, Emma and Layla's matches, and I think they're just showing how they're not afraid to go out there on the biggest stages in the world. You know, this is their first time ever playing um, on Arthur Ashe, I think, for both of those girls. And it was just amazing to see. It kind of reminded me of Coco when I used to watch Coco go out on these big stages, honestly, how bold and fierce she was, not afraid to go after her shots and get the crowd engaged. And I think they've both won over the crowds here in New York, and I think that's been very helpful for them just to have that support behind them every single point. And, yeah, I mean, it just shows everyone's – no one's afraid. Age is a number. And, um, yeah, I mean, it inspires me to go out there and work harder and say, why not me? Can you um, talk sort of specifically of, in terms of what happens out there on the tennis court in terms of when you're swinging free, you have nothing to lose, a loose arm, and then when maybe it tightens up and you say, oh, my God, I'm not doing that. And, and how, how do you try to get that place to that place of freedom? Yeah, there's definitely moments in the match, at least with me, that I do find myself getting tight. And um, I think for me, it's just, I have to... Um, especially during my singles this week, I need to do better and learn how to just not max or not make so much of the moment. It's just a tennis match. You win or lose at the end of the day. Your life isn't, I mean, yes, it's going to change in some areas, but, you know, you're still going to have your friends and your family with you. It's not going to be anything terrible that's going to happen if you lose. And I think that sometimes I put myself in that mindset that it's going to be the end of the world when I lose. And I think um, it definitely affects, like, how I play because I'm not playing free. And I think with Layla and Emma, I definitely feel, I don't know how they're feeling on the court, obviously, but from what it seems like on TV, that they're definitely just playing free and they're just happy out there. Okay. Uh, ben, last question in the room. I just wanted to, I, I, Cook, I was listening to your guys' encore interview in the media center and it cut off, the audio cut off right before you started addressing the crowd and saying something about Gen Z mm -hmm. to the, the other people your age in the audience. Can you just sort of repeat what that was and what your message is to, that you hope to inspire the generation with? Yeah, I just, um, the interviewer asked me a question about something about age and I just saw like that crowd is obviously a young crowd Armstrong is always a young crowd and I saw a lot of kids out there and I just wanted them to know that it can definitely happen to them and um I just think that if you dream it you can do it and all those like kids out there just reminded me of me when I was here in U.S. Open watching people play thinking that I can make it and I you know you know, you sometimes, you know, it's always like such a big dream, you know, people always say, oh, yeah, yeah, every kid thinks they're going to be number one and stuff. But I think that every kid should believe that and should work for it. And don't let adults tell you that you can't do it. Because I do think, especially um, as a kid, I think uh, the biggest dream crushers are sometimes parents. And I'm lucky that I never had parents that would crush my dreams. But I do um, know people, at least with my parents, they um, my dad always said that he wished he had a dad like him that said that he can just take basketball, not just to pay for school, but to take it further. And he never wanted that with his kids. And I just want those kids out there to hear it from me if they're not hearing it from their parents. Okay. Uh, we're going to go online now. Ladies, if you look on the left to the monitor. Mark, you are live. Hi, yes, Mark Masters with TSN. Coco, what, what stands out the most to you about Layla and his game? Um, definitely her aggressiveness. She takes the ball early, doesn't give you much time. I practiced with her a couple times and played with her um, in juniors, but practiced with her on the pro circuit a bunch of times, and she takes the ball early, and it doesn't give you much time to think or do anything. And she obviously has great anticipation skills, which I think she showed in that tiebreaker against Switzerland. 
And, and for both of you guys, next up, Dabrowski and Stefani, who have had a lot of success since they've gotten together after the Olympics. Uh, I know you guys played Dabrowski in Miami early, earlier this year, but what stands out to you about that matchup? Yeah, I mean, I think they're both obviously very well-experienced doubles players. Uh, it seems like they've been playing a lot together recently and having some good success. So, I mean, I think for us, we're just going to more, more, you know, focus on ourselves, try to play our game and not worry too much about them. Um, I mean, I'm sure we'll do some scouting of them, you know, playing recently. But, you know, I think we're just going to enjoy, you know, winning today and just get ready again like we do for every match. Okay, final question. Michael, you are live. Hi, Katie and Coco. Michael Lewis, Cincinnati Inquirer. Congratulations on your win today. Um, Katie, can you just take us through the first time you met Coco and Coco, first time you met Katie, and what your impressions were of each other and what sort of made you guys decide to team up? Yeah, I think the first time I met Coco was, I'm pretty sure it was at USTA. I don't remember. In Orlando. <laughs> it was Orlando. I, I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure it was Orlando. I think we played we're a tiebreaker against each other. We were going to Mexico. Yeah, yeah, we were going to Mexico, and we were just, like, practicing a couple days in Florida before we all headed out there. Um, but we didn't really talk that much, I feel like. No, when we didn't. We didn't talk at all. We didn't <laughs> no. really know each other, and we didn't get to try to know each other. No. It, it wasn't like we hated. No, we did not dislike each other. I was the youngest of the group bunch, and it was two age groups, 14 and 16. She yeah. was on the 16-year-old team. I was on the 14-year-old team, and I just... I like was scared. I <laughs> was scared of you guys, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was killing it, though. Like She was killing it in every single match. But then I think we started to kind of get to know each other better when we went to Birmingham and we played yeah. like a friendly against Great Britain. Yeah. We played we played with each other and I think we won like 6-0, 6-0 the first match. Yeah. And then that's when we decided we wanted to play uh, Junior U.S. Open. And then, I mean, it's just kind of sprung from there into this amazing like friendship and um, partnership on the court, which has been really special. Okay. Yeah, that was, yeah, basically that's how we met. But I remember having more interaction with her in, in England. But I... I was, I don't know, I just didn't really talk because I was just scared of the older girls. So that's pretty much, not that she was mean or anything. I just, you know, like you're the youngest one there and like these girls are veterans and they all look so professional. I didn't know what I was doing. So I was like 14. It, yeah, but like I was like, tw wait, then that means, you were like, no, 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 you were like 15. And you were like 13. Yeah, no, I was like 12. 12, okay. 12 or 13. Anyways. They're like top ITF players, and I'm new to the scene off a of wild card, so I didn't know what, what I was doing. But she's really nice, obviously. <laughs> but I feel like now, I don't know, I feel like now I'm more the bully. <laughs>